tonight. Eraparades cabarandes, sayele bonta roda, eke brico parata, zapala brato rate keba, reke pariande, woo, shai bele comanandas, esca brato rade la bata, esca pariande, sepele manando parata, sabrekete, dada. Parati bre eketele baradas sabri katia de bosta that the lifting up of our hands shall be as the evening sacrifice shaparate kabela baradas shene mananda kapadia sai kabela semananta kariadas and so Father we declare this service open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost blessed be the name of the Lord Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, make it louder for the king. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Slap three, hallelujah. five, six persons a high five and say, I don't know about you, but my name is on the miracle. Come on, testify to somebody. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Somebody make a joyful noise and celebrate your victory. Let's go. Come on. See you jump your hands together like this, everybody. Where are my victors? Come on, let me see you clap.
voice is prophetic. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, put your hands on your neighbor's shoulder. Put your hands on your neighbor's shoulder. And we are going to prophesy. Are you ready? Are you ready? Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Somebody lift your voice in this place and begin to declare the majesty of your God before every mountain. Say, I get back in. I get back in. I get back in. Jagu Jagu on the Oru stands behind me. He says, Hold your peace and I will fight your battle. Hey, you are, you are my shield. I get back in.
Lift up your voice and worship. Let the seed of worship be planted inside of you. Make it count, make it count. The next 30 seconds. Rados Cofrante, Celeleti, Cadereus, Sonanate, Sanarante, Yakes Cofrando, Silabate. Let the seed of worship be planted. Yerides, Sonabate. For in Jesus' mighty name we have worshiped. For in Jesus' mighty name we have worshiped. If you are happy to be in the house of the Lord, make a joyful noise. That noise is too small for my God. If you're happy to be in the house of the Lord, make a joyful shout. That's more like it. Please have your seat in the presence of God. As you're sitting down, just nod your neighbor. Say, welcome to service. Welcome to a night of worship. You will meet an encounter with God today in the mighty name of Jesus. As you're welcoming your neighbor, let's put our hands together as we welcome the online church. Wherever it is that you are around the world, God bless you. As you join us, may the encounter that people experience here be the same for you wherever it is you are in the mighty name of Jesus. Did we watch what happened in NLP Canada? If you are excited about what happened, please make a joyful shout. Great, great, great. Next Level Prayers continues as it is 6.30 a.m. Join us on all our platforms. However, we will not be having a physical service here tomorrow because we'll be streaming live from the UK. Very quickly, if you have a testimony, the Bible says that we overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. So if you have a testimony, please come out, walk towards this side of the church, and then the pastor will be there to take in your testimony. Make sure you don't hold that testimony because you are not confident on what God has done. God has already done it. This is your chance to be able to seal it. So please walk to this side, and a pastor will be there to take in your testimonies. Are we good up to that point? All right. So can somebody shout rejuvenate? I don't think you're rejuvenated. Can you shout rejuvenate? All right, so Rejuvenate is coming up from the 1st of September to the 21st of September. It is a time where harvesters, we fast and we pray as a church. There are two times we do this in the year, in January and in September. There are devotionals that have come out. There are hard copies, soft copy. Make sure you follow through. I have a testimony from the last research that we had. The previous name was research. Now we've changed it to Rejuvenate. I have a personal testimony. I was looking for a job. The first interview was 1st of September. The offer letter came 21st of September on the last day. And so I am a living testimony of what has happened last year. You can also be a living testimony of what will happen this year. So let's make sure that we join and the Lord bless you as you join in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let's fix our eyes on the screen as we watch the video to continue. Thank you very much.
begin to thank him. I'm going to say, Father, I lift up my voice in thanksgiving to you tonight. Lord, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my children. I'm grateful for my spouse. I'm grateful for my salary. I'm grateful for the blessings that I today. I am grateful that I can worship you, that I can praise your name, that I can pray to you, that I can call you my father, that I can call you Abba. I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful. I have breath in my lungs. Lord, I say thank you tonight. Lord, I am grateful. I can stand. I can walk. I can eat, I can jump, I don't break it, yes, that I'm not in the hospital. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, I say thank you. Lord, we granted you on my lips. Let me thanksgiving in my heart. I come before you tonight to say thank you, Lord. To say thank you, Lord. You're worth the thousand tongues that are not to say thank you. But tonight, Lord, I lift my own voice. Your words is let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Tonight, I praise your name. Tonight, I glory in your presence. Tonight, I'm grateful. I am grateful. Lord, we give you thanks tonight. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Still in the atmosphere of Thanksgiving tonight, we're going to read from the book of 1 Thessalonians 5.18. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18. And the Bible says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. God loves it when we come back to give thanks. Remember there were 10 lepers that were healed. Only one came back and Jesus asked, that per asked him, were, were 10 not healed? Where are they? You are here tonight, and this is your opportunity to give thanks to God. So now you're going to continue to thank God. You're going to thank Him for divine protection. You're going to thank Him for divine provision. You're going to thank Him because He watches over you. You go out every day, you come back home, and God is watching over you. You're going to lift up your voice and say, Father, thank you. Thank you for providing for my every need. The Bible says... He has been with you. He did not leave you. He did not forsake you. You are going to say thank you, my father. <laughs>
that, that you cleanse us and use us for every good work. Use us for every good work. Help us to be vessels unto honor. Help us to be vessels unto honor. Fit for the master's use. Use my life to glorify your name, O God. Use my life to glorify your name, O God. Let people see me and see your glory upon me. I declare the name of Jesus. I am fit for the master's use. And I consecrate myself. You are exalting my head like the honor of a unicorn. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray tonight. Every area where you are unfruitful, God should prune you in those areas. You are going to say, Father, prune me. Every area I'm fruitful, I'm unproductive. Father, prune me in those areas. In the name of Jesus, help me to cut them off, those habits that distract me from you. Everything that has become an obstruction to my prayer life. Tonight, I lay it aside. Father, prune me. Those habits that deny me of my time in your presence. Tonight, I ask that you cut it off in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, thank you for tonight. I'm changed and transformed into a new man. In the name of Jesus Christ. My life is for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Tonight is our night of worship, and in the, in the presence of God, the Bible says there's fullness of joy. As we spend time worshiping God tonight, we're expectant of all sorts of encounters. And we're going to be praying for encounters tonight. Hallelujah. We're going to be praying for divine encounters, those kind of encounters that turns a man's life around. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight, as we lift up our voice, and we're going to pray that our eyes of understanding will be enlightened tonight. As we hear the word of God, it will change our thinking. It will change our decision making. It will change our actions and therefore change our results. So we are going to pray tonight. Heavenly Father, I pray for an encounter in your word. I pray for an encounter with your spirit. You are going to say, Father, open my eyes of understanding tonight. In the name of Jesus, grant me deeper revelation. In the name of Jesus, if you desire it, open up your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we are praying for divine encounters in this place tonight as we worship you. Cause us to be changed into new men in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for an encounter in your word. We pray for encounters with your spirit. Fill us afresh tonight. Fill us afresh tonight. Lord, we are hungry for more of you. We are hungry for more of you. Holy Spirit, fall upon us afresh. Give us fresh perspective. Give us fresh directive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fill us who we want no more. Fill us who we are overflowing tonight. In the name of Jesus. That is the encounter we pray for. And that is the encounter we receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks and praise. Thank you for divine encounters in this place. Thank you for divine encounters in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Come, just begin to lift up our voice and begin to say, Father, we thank you for answered prayers. Someone that is confident in their prayers. Say, Father, I thank you for answered prayers. I thank you because I'm being changed and transformed tonight. Thank you because I'm being renewed. Thank you because I'm encountering your spirit. In the name of Jesus, thank us your word is alive in my spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you thanks and we give you praise. Father, we thank you tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. No, that amen is too big. In Jesus' name we pray. Someone that believes that prayers are may answer, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please may you have your seats in God's presence. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, we're in the ministry where God has just been showing us all sorts of amazing things. God has been so faithful. He has been so faithful. You know, at the beginning of the year, where we were, we were at Wine Press, there was a song that um, Nathan Abbasi said was going to be our testimony. It says, see what the Lord has done. 
Hallelujah. That has been so many people's testimonies this year. You know, and some of our sisters and brothers are here to share their testimonies tonight. And we're just going to wel welcome them. Can we put our hands together as they come and tell us how God has done it in their lives? Hallelujah. Please, let's put our hands together and welcome them up. They've come to testify. What a glorious thing that they are doing tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, um, my name is Bella. And Hi, Bella. <laughs> thank you. Apparently, I went to an aviation school. So after graduation, of course, you're meant to write the exams, then get your license, then you can fly. So a lot of students have been writing these exams, and they are failing. Not like they don't know the questions. They know the answers to the questions, but they are just failing. So on Monday, I was supposed to write the exam. We got there. The saver wasn't coming up. We don't know what happened, so they canceled and told us to come back on Thursday to write the exam. At this point, I was already scared because those who went in came out, and they were all crying. So on Wednesday last two weeks, my neighbor said she was coming to church. I'm a fan of praise and worship, so I'm like, okay, let me come with you. I followed her to church. Then Pastor Bolaji came and he said, that license, that document that you need to have, receive it. Omo, um, I was screaming. I felt like he was talking to me, so I claimed it. So on Thursday, we were meant to go back and write the exam. My other classmates, they were like, they are not ready for this exam. I'm like, you are ready. You have to be ready. Just believe it. Whatever it is they decide, it's going to work together for our good. Hallelujah. So we got there. There was so much delay. Reasons we don't know. I told them, if you like, take the exam to the sky. I'm going to write it and I'm going to pass it. So we got into the hall and we started writing. The questions were familiar, but so why were they failing? I couldn't tell. Nobody could, could answer that question. At the end of the day, I wrote my exam. Even though I graduated as the best graduating student, I had 90. And <laughs> I just want to say, thank God. I'm really glad I came here last two weeks, Wednesday. So I just, I claimed that prophecy because it was meant for me. So I'm going to come back and testify more. Amen. Expect me. <laughs> Amen. So I'm going to buy a plane next, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Good evening, church. My name is Nana, and I want to thank God for restoration of my health. So in 2020, I realized I had irregular cycles. And in December 2020, during NLP, um, Pastor P had prayed about PCOS and irregular cycles. And since then, my cycle was restored. Hallelujah. Fast track to last year, 20, 2022, September, all of a sudden, I started having irregular flows again. Um, so September, it will come. October, it won't come. And it just continued like that. And I started making excuses for it. That, oh, maybe I was stressed. And before I knew it, that's it. It stopped like from February. I decided to go to the hospital. And because I started having like lower pain, it was so bad that I couldn't lift up my hands. I couldn't shout. I couldn't bend. And they said, oh, it was symptoms of PCOS. I needed to go for a scan. I went for the scan and they said I had ovarian cyst. At this point, I realized that if I continued going to the hospital, my faith would be zero. So I decided to spend some time um, listening to messages on Harvester's TV. And I bought a lot of books on Hallelujah. faith. So I spent the entire month of June um, dwelling on books on faith and Harvester's TV. And in July, I started sporting again. So I would sport for the entire month. But I wouldn't, like, have my proper period. So in July, when it started again, my spirit just told me, register it as the date that you started your menstrual cycle for July. And I did the same, that same thing. In two hours, my flow started. And since then, I didn't have to go back to the hospital. And even the abdominal pain I was having during NLP London, when I was watching online, Pastor B said, place your hand where you're having any form of pain. And within three minutes, I was fine. And I'm Hallelujah. just here to say thank Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Our God is faithful. Someone say God is faithful. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right, so um, I'll be very brief. So um, last year, precisely 1st of March, I left employment and decided to become a, a fully entrepreneur. Uh, it felt like, okay, salary was no longer coming. So... What was I going to do? But I went into faith. 
I have a partner when we started a business called Kudimata. And um, wine press, uh, I had three prayer points. I said, Lord, just wow people, you know, just wow people for me. And that was all I, I said. Um, this year, recently, the recent one, um, NNPC Foundation called to train 250,000 graduates. Um, it's currently on Total Nigeria. Um, secondly, Nigerians and Diaspora Commission, um, National Directorate of Employment. It's just been one breakthrough to Praise another. Praise God. Praise and, God. <laughs> and, and the thing is, you know, most times I, I appear in meetings and I'm holding camera, taking pictures. I'm like, ah, cameraman, come, oh, come, come, come. And I, I know I'm not the cameraman. I'm only taking pictures to actually tell people that, look, God is actually doing this Hallelujah. thing. Hallelujah. Yes, so, <laughs> so this is my testimony. Hallelujah. People. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hi, um, I'm one of those online church. I'm, the, I'm one of those people online church was created for. Mm. And Praise God. <laughs> it, it really took a lot to come to church today. So uh, my testimony is um, last week I applied. So a couple of weeks back I applied for a Canadian embassy um, visa. And last week, Tuesday, I got procedural fairness. It was a stage that I'd even passed, you know, um, the Canadian embassy won't ask you to do medicals if you've not passed the stage where they have to review your documents. I'd passed that stage, and um, the next response I was getting was procedural fairness, questioning my bank statements. Oh, my God. I didn't even know what to do because every person I'd asked, all they said was bad news. Oh, you're going to get banned. It means you can't go to Canada. You can't go to UK. You can't go to the US. You can't go anywhere. I already had plans. The plan was, oh, my visa comes out. I go to um, NLP Canada. I volunteer at an OSHA like I always do. Like I had everything planned out in my head. But man, the devil just, just the way what he, he knew how to do. And I came to church, and then I was just telling God, God, I have plans, man. Your girl was supposed to go to next level. And then, and then everything just was so overwhelming. And I came to church for worship night, and I was just crying. The solution wasn't coming. So it was after worship night, solution just came. And then I just went to the bank. I got what I needed to get. I uploaded it back. So instead of getting an approval, instead of getting a ban, I got declined. I got, my visa got refused. When I tell people that, oh, you know that procedural fairness, I got refused. They're always like, how? How? You didn't get banned. So I'm grateful to God that even if it wasn't approved like I wanted, Hallelujah. I'm Hallelujah. grateful that I didn't get banned. Hallelujah. So next level, next level prayer, Canada, you guys are going to see me awesome. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. What powerful, powerful testimonies tonight. Shout a big hallelujah. Can you shout grace? Shout grace. Shout grace. Say, this is my story. Hallelujah. Are you excited to be here tonight? Because we're about to take you to another level. Hallelujah. You know, that lady said, I was glad that I came here two Wednesdays ago. You know, and that testimony is something that, that touched my heart because if not for gathering like this, what could have happened? So tonight we're about to take it to another level. Are you ready? Yeah. Can you say to your neighbor, worship is my trusted weapon. Worship is my trusted weapon. Harvester, can we rise on our feet this night as we make welcome our very own Joshua Israel? Hallelujah. If you're making that noise for Jesus, can you make it louder tonight? Glory to God. Glory to God. It's such an honor to be in my own house. 
Thank you, Jesus. Can we just lift our hands to Jesus tonight? Give Him the fruit of your lips. Give Him the fruit of your lips. Worship is not in songs. Worship is not in the abundance of words. You are the worship that He requires. You are the worship that He requires. Don't wait for a song. Can you lift up, oh my God. Apostle Paul said to come with Psalms. Can you release your sound in this room tonight? Can you release a sound of worship tonight? Release your sound, 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 release your sound. Fante saborate balando kabea sobali. O pai nan de se bahato kemen de si se prate. Before you are tonight, we lay it all down. 
hands before you, Jesus. And we would.
there is a spirit in man and the breath of the Almighty give it understanding. You are a speaking spirit. Whatever you do tonight, make sure you are not silent. Whatever you do tonight, make sure you are speaking. Listen to me. The word of God in your mouth is as potent as the word of God in his mouth. So whatever you do tonight, make sure you are speaking.
say, I will call upon the Lord. I will call upon the Lord. Can you just pray in the Holy Ghost in this place? Oh, For the rest of eternity can you spend some time and talk to your daddy this evening there is no rush for us and our father can you spend some time and just box in his love and oh father we love you what a mighty god you are can you thank the lord the bible says every good and perfect gift it comes from god above everything that is good and perfect in your life can you spend some time to thank the lord oh father we thank you we enjoy your presence we thank you for our families we thank you for our health for our jobs for our marriages for whatever is working for every good thing that you've done for 
my family. Oh, Father, we thank you. We are not childless. We are not homeless. We are not barren. We are not jobless. Oh, Father, we thank you. Alaba Coast. We thank you for NLB Canada. Oh, Father, we thank you. Our daddy, our daddy, your children, we are happy to box in your embrace, happy to box in your presence, happy to stay with, happy to abide under your shadow. Thank you for your strength, thank you for wholeness in your presence. Another back of the Brogados, what a mighty God we serve. Thank you for decorating our lives. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your preservation. Thank you for your protection. My walls are consistent before you. You have not put me to shame. Oh, Father, thank you. You've not caused people to ask me, where is my God? You are my prayer, Ashley Father. Regardless of what I do, your power and your presence stays with me. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, we thank you. We, your children, are singing. Oh, what a mighty God you are. Father, we are happy just to box, just to stay in your presence. Thank you for the peace that comes with God. Thank you for the oneness that comes with you. We are not under any pressure to perform because we are with you. We thank you because nothing separates us from your love. Thank you because you are rich in mercy towards us. Friends come, friends go, but you stay. The Bible says you are our present help in time of need. You are the God that stays with us. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, what a joy to be called yours. We love you because you first loved us. We are who we are because of your grace and your mercy. Many see us and wonder. They don't know that there is a God behind. We stand sure because we serve a living God. Our future is secured because we serve a living God. Oh, Father, we thank you. Can you turn your Bibles with me to the book of Exodus 14, verse 14? Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Scripture says in Exodus 14, verse 14, it says, the Lord shall fight for you. I thought you shout a believing amen. amen. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Verse 15 says, and the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cried thou unto me? He says, Why are you crying? He says, I have given you power and authority. He says, Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. They will not go behind, they will go forward. You will go forward in the name of Jesus. Verse 16 says, He says, But first, he says, Lift thou up your rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea verse 21 he says and Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry land we all know the story, what had happened. There was the Red Sea in front of them. There were the enemies at the bank. You're going to pray, Father, show me. You know, as they cried out to God, God began to show Moses. He said, there is a rod in your hand, stretch it forth. This evening you're going to declare, God, my Father, my Father, illuminate my mind on what to do. 
to have victory in this season make that your prayer this evening my father my father illuminate my mind on what to do to have victory in this season show me the secrets to my establishment in the name of jesus open my eyes to what to do to break forth and break through open my eyes open my understanding to what to do to break forth and break three important wisdom I talk about by importation of wisdom what to do in this season what to do concerning that marriage what to do concerning that child what to do concerning that slug issue what to do on this approval another back horse I receive the importation of wisdom importation of wisdom to break forth Impartation of wisdom to break through. Can you press in tonight? Press in tonight. Show me, Lord, what I must do. What my next step look like. And now, brother, open the next calendar of the third quarter. Open it of the fourth quarter. Open the calendar where I must go. Who I must be with. Because your word is a lamp unto my feet. And importation by the Spirit. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you because you are the revealer of all secrets. Thank you because even now there is an importation of wisdom. Our eyes are popped open to see in the name of Jesus. Our ears open up to descend past the seasons. In the name of Jesus, we hear clearly and we receive strength to follow. In the name of Jesus, every doubt, darkness, confusion disappears. In the name of Jesus, as we go forth, the Red Sea opens up. In the name of Jesus, the trees and the mountains, they open up. In the name of Jesus, because we come in the name of Jesus. Because we come in the name of Jesus. Every mountain is leveled because we come in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you because even as we gather around your word, we have been changed. We give you all the praise and glory everlasting, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Can we celebrate Jesus tonight? Hallelujah! Somebody shout grace! 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 This is my story! Hallelujah! You may please have your seat. So let me tell you my own, how I converted that grace. You know that there is something that you're believing God for, right? So when we say that third grace, I now bring the picture of that thing that we're believing God for. Then when I say that, this is my story, that picture comes alive. So you might want to try it, you know. Hallelujah. So when they say grace, grace, the grace is something to you. It's God's gift to you. There is something that you're asking God for. Convert it. That last picture of the grace, this is your story. And I declare that this will be your story. In the name of Jesus. Our 21 days of re rejuvenate is about to start. You know, it was formerly called research, but now it's called rejuvenate. I know hear anybody shouting, no. we're not ready to fast. Ah, uh, you know, you want to be here every Wednesday service because there's going to be prayer services so that we can come and have encounters. We can hear clearly, clear instructions from God. We're going to push until something happens. Hallelujah. This is 21 days fast. Be intentional about it. The Bible says that there's a fast that God has ordained. Be, this, 
21 days, you say, God, this fast that you have ordained, I must participate in the fullness in Jesus' name. So I bring you greetings from our senior pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. Can we turn our Bibles very quickly to the book of Genesis 15? I know it's night of worship. We're just going to, you know, stay on the word for briefly. And then we can go to a mighty time of worship. Genesis 15 verse 1. The Bible says, After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying to him, Fear not, Abraham. I am thy shield and thy exceedingly great reward. And Abraham answered, almost as though God had not spoken to him. He says, Lord God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. All of a sudden, there is an Eliza in the picture. And Abraham said, behold, informing God, to me, you have not given any seed. And this one, Eliza, that is born in my house shall be my heir. Verse 4. Scripture says, And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy heir. But he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thy heir. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. You know, when I read the scripture, it seemed to me like, what God had said to Abraham was not important because he responded to God from his own place of lack. He says, Baba, I know you are talking to me, but Baba, my situation is still the same. I still don't have a child. So all this one that you are saying, fear not, you are my sinning great reward. Let's put it to one side because even though you are my reward, all of that, I'm still childless. And that there is a guy called Eliza that is born in my house. That guy is going to be my heir because you have not given me a child. And as I read that scripture, I saw myself there. And I'm sure a lot of us can identify how it is that we relate to God based on that place of lack. So even as we are worshiping God now, we are still saying, God, I have come to worship you. But the thing that you said you would give me, how far is it? I am still single. Yes, I know you are rich in mercy. But God, I am still single. And the beautiful thing about it is that God is and was aware that Abraham had no child. And I love the way God, you know, God brought, came to him. He says, first things first, with or without a child, with or without delay, number one, do not fear. And very important so importantly so because there is a way that fear can smoke out our believing God and you just find yourself going out of skelter why because fear has fully manifested and guess what God is fully aware of our issues there is nothing that we're going through that God's like ah she's 34 no man mm -mm. God is fully aware very much aware but what God was trying to tell Abraham was that, Abraham, you don't understand. It is more important for me to give you an Isaac. Because with an Isaac, I'm going to establish my blessing upon the children of Israel. So your need for a child is more important to me as God than even you that wants the child. And you know, a lot of time, we were like, God, marriage, God, children. But guess what? The plan and purpose for us to have children, subdue, multiply, and dominate, was an agenda that was set in motion before you and I showed up. So because God needs us to make this kingdom, the kingdom of our God, your prosperity is important to him. He says that I delight in the prosperity of my children. Because God needs your seed. He needs godly seed to crush the enemy's head. Your children is important to him. He needs your marriage to model Christ. Your marriage is important to him. So was telling Abraham, Baba, calm down. Like my daughter would say, she would say, Farabale. She says, calm down, don't be afraid. Because the plan and the purpose of your life is, is part of my agenda. And that's why we can't afford to give up. So tap your neighbor, say you can't afford to give up. 
And if we go by the order of God in Genesis, you know, I love God. He's a good father. He made everything, then he brought Adam and he showed up. That means that there was provision ready for Adam and he brought Adam. So for God to have brought you in this time, the provision that you need is, has showed up already. And so the provision must not be apparent, it must not be obvious. But guess what? You have a responsible father called God. He's so responsible that before you showed up, your husband is not making your husband. No. Your husband is around you. Hallelujah. Because he's a responsible father. So everything that you need to be great, to be all that you need to be, God already provided already. So do what? Farabale. And there's a new tool that the devil uses now. It's called anxiety. He's just bringing pictures, pictures of what cannot, what should not, he's bringing it to you. And that's what Abraham was saying. You know, I'm sure that he must have thought about it. He said, hey, this Eliza, you now become my own heir. You know, and the devil brings that pictures, everything called anxiety, anxiousness. He happens to the small, the great, the poor, the rich, anxiety. But guess what? There is a plan and a purpose. So what do you do? You farabale. You do what? You farabale. And like we always pray on next level, what you fear will not happen. I thought somebody would say amen. amen. What you fear will not happen. What will happen? The word of God, the plan of God concerning you. That's what will come to pass in the name of Jesus. The second thing God said to Abraham, he says, Abraham, I am your shield. And that is so assuring for me, assuring for us as Christians. That I am what? Your shield. I am your defense. Hallelujah. Hey! I am your defense. That means that no matter what happens to you. It says, that, Psalm 3 verse 3, it says that the Lord is a shield around you. He is your glory and the lift up of your head. So no matter what comes to you, you know that there is a defense and a shield. Amen. That's why we can't afford to stay downcast. We can't afford to stay depressed. We can't afford to be bowed over. Why? Because the Lord is our shield, our glory, and the word, the lift up of our heads. We can't afford to be fighting. You know, fight. We're fighting, tossing our work. When they're fighting, they're tossing our work. Just step back. Let the Lord fight for you. The Bible says that our God is mighty in battle. He says he will fight for you and you will hold your peace. Why? Because the Lord is our shield, our glory, and the lifter up of our heads. We cannot be put to shame. Why? Because the Lord is a shield around us. Our glory and the lifter up of our heads. Say the Lord is your defense. Sap your neighbor. Say the Lord is my defense. Even though inflation might be the highest. Even though the petrol, if you like, let it skyrocket. Even though we're in difficult times, the Bible says, with all the inflation, the Lord will provide a way of escape. Why? Because the Lord is our shield, our glory, what? And the lift up of our heads. What assurance. You know, sometimes people tell you, they want to deal with you. He said, my brother, for your sake, leave that one you don't understand Colossians 3 verse 3 it says my life is hid in Christ Jesus so before you touch me you touch Christ you want to die you can't he said I'll deal with you he said hey leave it alone you can't deal with me because my life you can't find me you've got to find Christ my life is hid 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 in Christ Jesus so we walk boldly because our God is our defense. We're not afraid. We walk with our full chest because there is a shield over us. There is one that is our glory. There is one that is the lift up of our heads. His name is God, our Father. Hallelujah. The third thing, you know, God said to Abraham, I hope you're looking at your Bible in Genesis 15. I love this. It says that Abraham... I am your exceedingly great reward. Mm -hmm. And Abraham was saying, I have no child, but you are telling me that you are my reward. 
And what God was trying to tell Abraham is that the cars are good, the children are good, all those things are great. But me, your God, I am, will always be the reward, the most important reward. And a lot of time we come to God for the things that he gives. But he's saying to us that I am the one that you should seek because I am the reward. I am the one that gives and does not take back. And you're saying to Abraham, I am enough for you as you are enough for me. I am your God, your exceedingly great reward. I am that person that you have and you know that you have. You know, there is a having and there is a knowing that you have. He said, I am that person that you have and you are set for life. Jesus was telling the woman at the river, he says, I am the water that you drink of and you do not test again. I am that well that you drink of to the overflowing. I am that sauce. I am God, your sauce that keeps giving and supplying. I am the life and the resurrection. I am your healer. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And you can want all those other things. They are good. But me, God, I am your exceedingly great reward. The most important, exceedingly great reward. Any other thing, I beat any child, any asset, any property that you can have. He was telling Abraham, can you take your eyes off the assets and the children? And can you look to me because I am your exceedingly great reward? I am that light that keeps shining. He says, in me there is life. He is the resurrection and the life. And there is a call, you know, tonight. Perhaps you're looking, God, what are you going to give me? But he's saying, first, can you seek and chase me? Because everything that you want and you need is inside of me. Because I am the most, foremost reward. And God can see the intent of our heart. He knows that you're coming to church because you want something. But he's saying to Abraham and saying to us on, in the house tonight, I want to be your reward. It's good to chase the cars and check the work permits and the app visas and all of that. But first, can you set your heart upon me? Because... I am the resurrection and life. I am that friend that stays with you in every situation, in the high moment, in the low moment, in the sin, in the abortion. I am that friend that stays with you. And everything that you want, you can find it in me. In me. I don't want you to have plan A or plan B or plan C. I want that all your heart, your affection, everything is on me, your God. Hallelujah. And God is saying to us that I am enough for you and you are enough for me. And I don't want you to use your circumstances or rather your status to define yourself. Because sometimes we define ourselves based on, you know, our status. We're walking around, people think that we're enough, but inside of us, we really think that we're not enough for God. You know, we're saying, Lord, I'm single, you're walking, your shoulders are down because you're single, or you have no child, or you're using your leg to walk, and you're thinking, well, what, what do I amount to? But we are enough for God, we're enough for God. In the same vein, God is saying that don't use your circumstance to relate with me. Don't limit me as your God with or without delay. I am still powerful and a mighty God. Don't define your God based on the delay or the want or the lack. Because I am your exceedingly great reward. And if we must come to God, we must come to him first. As God... God, the most important, only important reward. Most important, only important reward. Hallelujah. There is a completion. There is a completion and an wholeness and a peace that comes with God. A sneak peek of that is what you, what you experience when you come to night of worship. But the real one envelops you. The real peace, the real oneness. He envelops you as you go forth. He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I remember two years ago, I lost my dad. 
And you know, my husband said to me in the rashest way, he just woke me up and said, we lost him. I said, lost what? Lost who? And from nowhere, a song rose up from my spirit. And I began to walk in a strength that I did not know I had capacity of. You know, I just went about doing all that I needed to do with a certain level of peace and strength. That's what God can do. You know, and a lot of us, we will go through a lot. We will go through the storms of life. And I pray that anyone going through it, the Lord will grant you peace and strength. In the name of Jesus. And he says that I am your peace. I am your exceedingly great reward. No option. Nobody anywhere else. Just me. It says, I keep in perfect peace. Those whose hearts are stayed on me. Hallelujah. Can we look at verse 4 together? I will start with verse 3. And then we read 4 together. And Abraham said, Behold to me, thou hast not given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is my heir. And, and behold, this is now verse 4. We're going to read this together. One, two, three, go. And behold, the word of the Lord. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's read it. It's the word of God. Let's read it well. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thy heir, but he that shall come forth out of thy own bowel shall be thy heir. Hallelujah. Yours will come forth in the name of Jesus. That child will come forth in the name of Jesus. That approval will come forth in the name of Jesus. Whatever you are believing God for. The Bible says so mightily grew the word that he prevailed. Over you the word of God will prevail in the name of Jesus. This is still our year of what? Laughter. You will laugh your own laugh. You will dance your own dance in the name of Jesus. It says that yours will come forth. Yours what? Will come forth. Tap your neighbor say yours will come forth. In the name of Jesus. Oh wow. As I bring this to a close. What I love most about the scripture. Is the beginning part that says the word of God came to Abraham. And make no mistake. True transformation. Everything that you want to change. Can only come when the word of God is close by. When the word of God comes to you, Abraham's life was turned upside down because the word of God came. We're about to enter into 21 days. How would you intentionally make room? There is an environment that allows the word of God come to you. How do you make room for this word of God? Is it just going to be a 21 days of in and out? Or you be a 21 days where you intentionally sit around the word of God? Because we will not be here talking about Abraham today if the word of God did not come. He says that as we behold him, we are being transformed from one level of glory to another level of glory. One of the ways that I create an environment for the word of God to come to me is by spending time. Lakuna makashtandele baya. Praying in the Holy Ghost. As you enter this 21 days, can you set 30 minutes pressing in the Holy Ghost? So that the word of God can come with free cause. Can we rise up to pray? It says that we have been transformed as we behold him. He said the word of God is able to build your marriage. He's able to build your mind. He's able to build your business. Can you decide that Lord in this next 21 days as we enter 21 days fast. Lord, give me the strength and the grace to stay on your word. Can you make that your prayer tonight? Anna Makosha. Lord, give me the grace and the strength to stay on your word. In the name of Jesus, grant me grace and the strength to stay on your word. Anna Makosha. Make me a man of your presence, a woman of your word. That your word will have free course in my life. Can you begin to thank the Lord that he is your 
reward. He is my reward. Can you pour your love on God tonight? He is your exceedingly great reward. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you for choosing me. And I'm a coast. Who am I that your mind is full of me? Our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. And I'm a coast. Can you pray a prayer of consecration tonight? Father, my word, my life for your glory. I consecrate my days. I choose you and you and you and you. And I'm a coast. Everything that is not God, I set it aside. I choose you and you again. I choose you. I look at the boss. That relationship that is not God. I set it aside. And the bokoto brokodosta. In the tendo brokodosta. I consecrate my morning, my afternoon, my evening. In the nene bokoto by. Early will I seek you all the days of my life. I consecrate my family, my generation. In the debasta who will not bow to any other God. In the kete brokodo koshi kada. Bragadosta, leti bragadosta, hele bradasta. Oh, Father, we choose you. We choose you and you alone. Let na makasta handle bradosta. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, Father, we choose you. We choose you. We say yes to your will. We say yes to your plan. We say yes to your assignments. We say yes to your instructions, Lord. And I'm a coaster. We say yes, Lord. We choose you and you again, oh God. Father, we thank you because we will no longer be afraid. Yes, Lord, we thank you because we walk by faith and not by sight. We are not moved by what we see. We are only moved by the word of God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you because you are our defense. Thank you because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Thank you because when they got up, for our sake, for our sake, they will scatter. Oh, Father, we thank you because you are our defense. Thank you because you're a shield round about us. We thank you because you are lifting up our heads. And we pray for our brothers and our sisters that feel bowed over. We receive divine strength on their behalf. And we declare, Lord, that there is a lifting up in the house tonight. We thank you because your lifting power is at work here. Even now, Lord, even now, Lord, thank you because you're setting free. Yes, you're breaking shackles. Men are running, men are running. Men are running. Thank you because men are running. Thank you because in this next quarter there is speed. Oh, na 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 makade boko boro boshida. Yes, Lord, lead the baya. Every limiting force will come against you. Let the baka the baya. Every limiting mindset will come against you. Let the baba baka ando boko osha. Yes, Lord, because what the Lord has set free is free indeed. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you because there is speed in the house. Every outstanding goes. Speed has come to it. Speed has come to it. Speed has come to it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you because you will hasten it in this time. Thank you because you are lifting up men. Causing them to soar on the wings of the spirit. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, we give you all the praise. Oh, Nana Makande Brados. Can you just worship the Lord from side to side tonight? Can you just worship the Lord? Oh, Father, we thank you. Choir, can you help me sing this song? I have a Father, Almighty Father. He is King of Kings and Ariaka Bokosha. I have a Father. Hallelujah. I, can you worship the Lord? Can you wave from side to side? Hallelujah. Hey. Lord of Lords, I have a Father. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, we're not fatherless. <laughs> we're not 
our fatherless. The mighty God is our father. We're not defenseless. The mighty God is our defense. Oh, Father, we thank you. Oh, Nakana Makosta. Almighty Father is King of Yes, Lord. I am the Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. All heads bow. If you're here, you're watching us online, and you don't know this father that we talk so passionately about i would like to lead you to christ tonight if god comes today you're not sure whether you'll be going to heaven or hell this is your moment every other thing might not make sense if there is no god in the equation oh father we thank you I need people to decide today that God will be your only option. No more option. Only God. And if you're making that decision tonight, can I pray with you? Can you say this after me? Heavenly Father, I choose you and you again. I denounce the work of the devil over my life. I know that you died and you were raised to death from my justification and Lord I declare boldly that I'm born again Father we thank you in the name of Jesus and Father I pray for all the saints that have made the choice tonight Lord I'm asking for fresh encounters with you and your word and your spirit make them whole again Lord we give you all the praise and glory everlasting Father in Jesus mighty name we we'll pray in Jesus mighty name we we'll pray can we celebrate Jesus as we have our seats amen you may please sit down in God's presence sit down as kings and queens that you are hallelujah very quickly we want to acknowledge all our first timers if you're here and this is your first time in our church we would like to celebrate you. Please, if you can just wave at me. If you brought them, thank you so much, my sister. If you brought them to church and they're not waving, help them, help them. We are so glad that you came to fellowship at Harvest Stars today. Thank you so much, my sister. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Can we pray for them? And so, Father, we thank you for all the new people that you brought into the fold today. Lord, we are asking for establishment in the name of Jesus all that concerns them you will perfect in jesus mighty name we'll pray amen hallelujah we would like to give our tithe and our offerings this beautiful wednesday evening if you're paying your tithe as these are custom can you please rise to your feet if you're paying your offering there are different ways to make offerings you can go to the back there's a pos stand at the back or you can do a transfer the offering envelopes at the back of your seat so if you're paying your tithe can you please rise to our feet really particularly want to thank you for investing in the house of God hallelujah let us pray father we thank you what the privilege it is to bring to you thank you for resources thank you because you are the giver of all things Lord we speak a blessing over this gift and we declare that this is the least that would ever be in the name of Jesus we declare, Lord, and we enter covenant with this blessing, with this resource. And we declare, Lord, that the windows of heaven are open over our givings. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Tonight, are we ready to have a one-on-one -on -one encounter time with God? As we go into this worship, this is the worship that you, you can't see anybody. Only you, only you and what? Your father. Hallelujah. Only you and what? And your father. And with us this evening, we have our own personal, powerful, anointed. You know, the first time I heard that, I'm like, what? A big gift to us, to the body of Christ. Please, can you help me welcome Minister Uche Okereke as she leads us in a powerful time of worship. Can we please rise to our feet this evening? And begin to exalt the name of this God. Thank you, thank you so much, Avestas. Thank you, Pastor. God bless 
sil Renversez ma yagiege Et c'est caméra wega Oye na chongwa na yagiege Et c'est pour ben caméra wega ngale Oye na chongye Oye na chego Otswa kenerumba Oso kata batane loku Ako bataya bada wadoso Ako ne chema Ako ne chema Olo ni eno regi Emero weka Ebi matara Ika diganyeze Nabi amero weka Otswa kanerumbe Ebi matara Ika diganyeze Eze bi amero weka Ebi matara I can't even use it. Come and wake up. We have no power of our own. Only you we rely. Only you, Jesus. We rely only you to your Jesus. What's what can I do? Be a man of wake up, Jesus. What's what can I do? Be a man of wake up. What's what can I do? Be a man of wake up. No matter the diagnosis, no matter what men have told you, tonight, 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 we speak to that situation. Every man, every matter, never get up. Oh, go and walk. Oh, you can't get away. Oh, you can't get away. The blind is calling tonight. Every lamb you're walking tonight. Are you on sick bed? Wherever you are, rise up and check your bed and walk, walk, walk in the name of Jesus. Every other God, the power of the name of Jesus, and the mention of the name of Jesus tonight. Every knee will bow, every trouble will bow, every problem will bow, affliction will bow, pain will bow tonight. What can money your heart? The belly choose to what? Who money anymore? Who money anymore? Come on, can you raise the sound? Come on, can you raise the sound tonight? Allah, we are Allah, so are Oh, 
Canada. Alaka soru, alaka. Hey in yo. Oh yigi yigi yo. Alaba bi eda. Alaka soru, alaka so. Come on, come on. Hey, hey, my lolo go to. Alandi marama, ebedi aya, ebedi sabi e, one buki e, loru a bocha. Anaguru Jesus, Ana Yaya, come on, give me praise in your language, in your language. Ana di marama, hepa wona digi, uso wona digi, iru chona digi. Ana di marama, hepa di aya, hepa di sabi, Ana buki, loru a bocha. Anaguru Jesus. And then yeah, we're doing it one time. Rebi, say, yo, go, go. Give me space. Give me space. Give me space. Give me space. Oh, you tell your neighbor anything I've done to stop you. Give me space. He put you in a gun, my Are you sure you are ready? Are you sure you are ready tonight? Come and give me praise. Give me praise. Ibu chine kene mema, hey John. Ibu chine kene mema. I know that good you tell me. I know that good you tell me. Hey John. I know that good you tell me. Oh no, no, 
your place. Sing out to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Marudi Sabaya Yesora Maruso Amama Masya Masi Ome Mama Zuraru Rebecca Namua Narudi Aka Mabara Kishina Lale Rebecca <laughs> It's from the depths of my heart, from the inner post of my heart, I worship the Lord. You all about Waba. Hello, do Mario. Come on. You all about Waba. What not do Mario? I said, Dow. I'm a Dow. Jesu. I do not tell you. I do not tell you. Jesu. What not do Mario? What not do Mario? What not do Mario? You all about Waba. Hello, Mario. He was a bad. Hello, Mario. We bow to you. We join the chariot of beats, the shadow of feet, the host of heaven, the chariot of fire. We see God is the Lamb, but host of fire. He was a bad. Oh, not come here. About something not Joe, about something not me, about me, about something not now. Let the matter, oh, 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 in the middle of the In the middle of the He said test and see and see That the Lord is good In the middle of the In the middle of the Ah In the middle of the Puka What's what God the battle you fight for me, the victory you give me, the healing, the healing, the healing. Here the battle of the here Oh, 
For your manifested presence, yeah. Thank you for your healing anointing in the house tonight. Thank you for your resurrection power. Thank you for restoring. Thank you for replacing. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for the spirit of Jesus. Thank you for restoration. Oh, thank you for putting back. Thank you for replacing that which has been lost. Oh, Father, we thank you for your healing anointing in the house tonight. Scripture says when the spirit is poured out, it says our will then there shall become a fruitful place. Thank you for the outpouring of your spirit upon us. Thank you for encounters with you. Thank you for renewal in this place tonight. Thank you because we have not come to meet with man, but we've come to meet with God. Thank you because we have been changed. Thank you because there is an exchange in the house tonight. Thank you because we have come to a place of deliverance. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you for ministering strength and taking away tiredness. Thank you for giving us clear instructions on what to do. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. 
Even now, Lord, there is an exchange in this place for everyone that their back is against the wall. Father, we thank you because there is an exchange, an exchange of your strength for their weakness. There is an exchange for your strength for their weakness. Thank you because baptism has been given, mantles have been released. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you because dry bones will rise again. We thank you because everything that seems dead will begin to rise. In the name of Jesus, dead businesses, dead ideas, dead dreams that begin to come alive. Oh, Father, we thank you because there is illumination in the house. Thank you because light floods our path. Thank you because confusion is a thing of the past. Thank you because we walk boldly as we see. Oh, Father, we thank you. We've not come to meet with man. We've come to meet the Almighty. Thank you because no one comes to you unless the same. Thank you because your spirit is brooding over our hearts, brooding over our plans, brooding over our goals. Thank you because we've come unashamedly. Thank you for the fullness. Thank you because we have been filled with the fullness of God. Oh, we give you all the praise and all the glory. Father, we thank you. Thank you for being our Father. Thank you. We worship you, Jesus. We lay our crowns, everything we lay down, and we worship at your throne. We extol you over everything. Everything, we drop everything. We drop everything, our worries, everything, our victories. We drop everything, Lord. And we extol you as our God. You reign in our affairs over and over again. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise and glory everlasting, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Can we celebrate Jesus in the house? Can we shout a big hallelujah? Can we shout what the mighty God we serve? What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! This third one, I need you to jubilate because we know we have the victory. When I say what a mighty God we serve, you will stand up and tell your neighbor, Have you heard? I have the victory. Are you ready? What a mighty God we serve! Find your neighbor, tell them, I have the victory. I have the victory. I will come back to testify because I serve a mighty God in the name of Jesus. Can we rise as we share the grace tonight? This Sunday, we're having back to school prayers for all our children. So please bring our children and next level prayers continue powerfully tomorrow. Can we share the grace together? The grace of our Lord.